right, here we go. Got my little Rouse sidekick. Uh, and I've got a little spot down here that's just real heavy hay. Uh, it was all merged together. We knew it'd be a little wet, but uh, you know, we cut 120 acres that needed to be merged, and you got maybe two acres that really shouldn't have been. All the hay is dry. I th actually think this stuff's dry now. Uh, this I was here this afternoon about three o'clock, so about 12 hours ago, and there were, I mean, just a few little green pieces, you know, little ropes. Uh, absolutely can't bail now, kind of no humidity. And so what I'm doing is since I can't bail, I'm, uh, I'm down here and I'm just, I'm flipping up this bottom and it really needs it. Uh, it's gonna be hot all day. And that way I have absolutely no worries come tomorrow when I get in that tractor. I don't have to, I just gotta get in and hammer through it. Uh, and the reason I, just, I really wanted just to show this rake in action, because that's you know, not something I really ever get to do. Uh, this is heavy, heavy hay. And all I'm, all I'm doing is I'm turning it half over. That's all this thing does. It just turns it half over. You can't rake two wind rows together. It won't, won't happen, because uh, it's at a pretty steep angle. And all it's doing is it's just... It's just taking this windrow and turning it half over. That's all it does. And so we got it on our little 5510. Working, working fantastic. I'm gonna kick her up here because we're at the end of our where we need to be raking. Just coming around here. I've only got like five windrows that I gotta do. It's a lot harder when you're filling with one hand, but. Yeah, so uh, a lot of people gave me hell when I bought this rig. Like a lot of people. And you know this this thing's not not meant for putting windrows together. And a lot of people gave me hell about that. But towards you know, like especially right now, it seems like every time you know, every time we go to make a we can be in a drought and that's when it rains is when we're gonna make cake and I'm okay with that I really am I prefer the rain but we got to get this hay dried out and everyone here uses a big V big you know Darf V rakes 17 wheel rakes stuff like that and you have to have a heavy rake here or it'll uh, it'll it'll just break it'll blow apart <coughs> just tear apart and so with this, this thing's really stout and it's quick. I mean, it is tremendously quick. It'll handle any kind of thing you throw at it. Any, any amount of heavy hay you've got, any amount of light hay, it'll handle it. It'll handle rough fields, not a problem. And man, it, it just works well. I am, it's one of those things I'm, I didn't want to spend the money, but I'm glad I did. Especially for where we are right now. You know, I have a mercher under my swather, so I can put two wind rows together. So on really light fields, I can make heavy wind rows with my swather. But the one thing about that is, is uh, it, sometimes it takes a little bit longer to dry, depending on like right here in this heavy spot. Yeah, this, this was probably too heavy to merge, but... We actually, with this rake, we were able to come in here and flip it a couple days ago. You know, when when we were halfway through the drying process, and that way we didn't get any any mold or anything on the bottom of our hay. We didn't have any moisture retention from the ground because uh, this stuff got over an inch of rain on it, and it's real sandy ground. It holds moisture. Uh, we were, I mean, hell, you can you can do. A circle in six hours you know if you're pushing it along and honestly I just I think I'm running I only maybe I'm running 900 rpms something like that right now or I'm running 1400 rpms that's what it is I can't really see but uh, I'm just putting right along we typically go a lot faster but I've got all the time on my hands. I can't bail. I'm already up, so 
I don't want to come back here in the day to do this. And it's something I know that I needed to do. So I'm just, uh, I have, I've been having one guy who works for me just run this rake for me. And he's covered 500 acres with it already. I mean, you just, just make sure he's got diesel and he just goes and does his thing. But uh, for this, the, the hay got rained on, the hay was merged together, you know, two things that should say it's gonna be bad hay. It's gonna get wet, it's gonna it's never gonna dry out, it's gonna be soppy and wet, moldy. It's beautiful hay. We can go in early, turn that windrow half over, and it just dries out like that. We don't get the mold, we don't get the water retention, and that's, you know, that's the other thing. There's some places that will just hold moisture. And with this stuff already been, you know, double rate, you know, put together with the with the swather, then we we don't we don't need to pull two wind rows together. We have we're actually losing less hay by doing that by merging it and we're picking up two dollars an acre on cutting fees so not only are we making more money cutting it and doing that we're actually it's better for us we're losing less hay it's just you know it's just worked out really well it's my last one up here and we couldn't be happier uh, now it rained so we're gonna have to charge for the raking, which you, everyone here rakes anyway. Everyone always gets charged for raking. Everyone rakes by the acre. Uh, so, you know, we're making, doing, you know, custom work. We're out here busting our butt, trying to make the best hay possible. And that's what we're doing. We're, uh, we gotta charge for it. And people are happy to pay for it. So, really, really monster windrow here. And it, it's just flipping it right over. You wouldn't want to be raking alfalfa right now. You just wouldn't have a leaf left on it. We'll get, we'll get to the end of this and we'll get some light on it and take a peek and see what it looks like. Okay, we're back. Let's get out. Let's take a peek. Big time. Uh, this is actually a, a single windrow that I pulled a. Uh, you know, that was laid out. This one was rolled over. But let's, uh, this is where it was setting. Let's flip it over. For the most, I mean, it, all it is, it just turned it upside down. It looks good. Honestly, I don't see any of the wets, any of the spots I was seeing today about three o'clock in the afternoon. But I'm just kicking this little windrow into this uh, just because when I go to bale it, you know, I'll have to bale half of it. And then if I, I know I'll drop a bale here, I'll lose some. So I'm just, I normally wouldn't do this, but. All right, so this spot right here that my hand is on, that would have been wet a little bit ago. Not, I mean, it, you don't even feel moisture, but it's softer than everything else. Uh... This hay is probably actually retained a little bit of uh, moisture. This is this is going to be up after my my uh, three o'clock in the morning. I can't bail hay video. So this right here, this is what I was concerned with today. Um, I'll actually put this and take this with me because I got a moisture meter in the pickup, and we'll pull moisture sample on it. Oh. Here we go, here we go. This right here, this is what I was concerned with. This feels dampish. But as you can see, we'll take that with us too because I'm, I'm pretty much done. How much this fluffs up. I mean, it's, we can get hot air all the way through this. It'll be, it'll be great. It'll be great to bail. This stuff will dry. Uh, and as you can see how heavy uh, how heavy this windrow is you know there's a lot of hay here this stuff shouldn't dry you know really but look how nice and pretty that is it's not molded it's not black it's not covered in 
white mold. I mean, that's, you got some bleaching from the top and the rain, but that's, that's good, good quality hay right there. Good quality wheat hay. Uh, you can, I mean, I feed my horse some pretty terrible hay, but you could put that in little bales as horse hay. You truly could. So, uh, I'm kind of scared myself with that hay in my back pocket coming in here. Thought something was coming to get me, but okay. So, where I'm going with this is, is I've I've had uh, being putting videos on YouTube. You know, you say, hey, all right, I bought this piece of equipment. This is why I bought this piece of equipment. And I guarantee you, if you do that, you will be called the dumbest person in the world. Uh, you'll get a lot of shitty comments. Uh, just generally shitheads will comment on your videos. Well, typically those shitheads have no idea what you're doing, what your conditions are like, so you gotta just ignore that shit. So if you're a young guy or even an old guy or something, and you're you're saying, I'm, I'm thinking about buying this rake, and I did that with this rake. I, I didn't do it with this rake. I, I bought this rake, and then I said why I bought it, but I was asking, you know, for suggestions on rakes before I bought this one, and I said, I'm gonna buy a rake. Well, everyone told me to buy the rake that <coughs> one lonely farmer had. You gotta buy that rake. You gotta buy that rake. That's the only rake you need. That's the best rake in the world. No, no, that's not. Uh, or, and, and typically, what people do is they they tell you to buy the buy the rake that they have. Um, buy the type of rake that they use. Well, I understand that. I do that sometimes, but. I bought this knowing when I bought it what I needed it to do. I needed it to flip windrows. Uh, just just to get that wee little bit of moisture out of them. You know, so we could get in there, get it baled, and get it gone. Our, our number one thing is get as much hay baled as quick as we can, as fast as we can, uh, because that's where we're going to make our money, is getting, getting it done. And you know what? I was just a dumb, dumb person for doing that. Shouldn't have bought that thing. Well, I can tell you, it works. It works really well. So, it you find you a piece of equipment that's going to do the job that you need it to do. The job that's going to make you the money. And, yeah, don't look back. Especially if you're making videos on it. If you're making videos... It doesn't matter what you do, you're going to be wrong. But anyways, so a little update on the Rouse. It's kicking ass, taking names, making money. That's what it needs to do. It's getting some hay done. All right. We'll talk to you later.